Chapter 199 of One Punch Man called That's Right starts off with Sonic and Flash with their backs together as they're surrounded by the Heavenly Ninja Party. The group are confused at what Flash had said since the last chapter, which was that the boss will open his eyes, and that's in terms of demonstrization. They then ask Flash what he's talking about and comment that he must have realized how powerful they all are and decide to confuse them all instead. And one of the stronger group members, who I discovered is called Brawny Muscle, after looking at the Wikipedia, and if knowing the name of every character is important to you guys, then I gotcha. Now, Brawny Muscle picks up a ton of loose debris in his arms while shouting that he doesn't understand Flash's backmarker mentality and that if he wants to confuse someone, then this is how you do it, as he throws the rubble in the air above the ongoing battle. After throwing the debris, he shouts, Stone Debris Release, and the other members of the Ninja Party get ready and jump into action, now speedily bouncing off of the rocks in all directions above Flash and Sonic. But before we get into the rest of the chapter, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps my small channel grow. Also, I've made a Patreon and it's in the description below. Support me if you'd like. And normally this would be impressive, but it's such an itty bitty size compared to what Saitama did against Garrow and Titan. And now for Flash and the viewers, it's just like someone embarrassingly trying to show off their skills, but it's incredibly underwhelming. Although, both Wind and Flame do seem to be impressed, stating that it's a three-dimensional attack using flying debris as footing, and also stating only Elite Ninja Master can use it since it's the most difficult technique in the village. And this is the most difficult technique in the village? This? But that's beside the point, while Sonic and Flash both seem to be hit by the Ninja Party's attacks simultaneously, Sonic calls the move poorly coordinated, and Flash just states it's such an old tactic. Just then, Flash seems to crouch down, breaking apart the ground beneath him, and then he jumps, flying up into the debris in the sky, breaking most of it apart. He aims for one particular guy who... wait, le let me check the Wikipedia. Vibrating... Di I mean Tremor, Vibrating Tremor, who can do nothing but look on in surprise as his vibrating plug is knocked the Flash out of him. The rest of the ninja party and even Sonic is surprised as Flash continues to jump around the debris, breaking each one he lands on apart so they can be no longer used, and knocking out any remaining ninjas that are unlucky enough to be in Flash's way. Brawny Muscle is left in awe at the sight, stating that Flash is blocking their movements by crushing their footholds, and hey, I just explained that. He goes on to call Flash an insult, but before he can finish, Flash lunges at him, and Brawny, along with a few other strong ninja members, throw rocks to protect themselves. But Flash just weighs between them, using them as footholds. He screams, asking how Flash is moving like this, but is kicked away in a quick clean motion, landing hard on the floor. Flash backflips away, and everyone is left stunned into silence as he lands back on the floor, sheathing his sword while the carnage he created comes crashing down behind him, in this classic but incredible anime finishing move style. The sword clips fully into his sheath, and he calls them all moron, stating that you don't need to learn this in the village. If you're strong enough, then it will be easy to think of something as simple as this. And yeah, you tell him, Flash, I completely agree. Sonic scrunches his fist together and reflects on what he just saw, and what he considers to be the ultimate specs in being strong through speed stands before him. And angered by this, he refuses to acknowledge Flash, calling him a bastard and ask how much he trained. But Flash responds questioning Sonic. He didn't train, his improvements in strength all come from continual combat experience. But he does say one thing. Sonic cannot become stronger until he throws away his worthless pride, and he's reminded of his fight with Platinum S. Sonic grumbles quietly, but walks up to Flash and stands next to him, saying, that's right, even though he's bleeding from both nostrils in frustration. Sonic tells him to shut up and says it's just a frontal wound. Outside, worthy adversary, tis but a scratch. But Flash notices Sonic is still trembling, and looks at him and comments that it looks like he's still growing. Sonic, however, calls him conceited out of his more frustration, telling him not to get carried away just because his skills have improved a bit. And now Wind and Flame watch from a distance, thinking to themselves that it's quite rich of them to comment on others' pride. 
And the chapter ends there after that little bout they all had. And the Heavenly Ninja Party is pretty much defeated now. And Flash has shown his strength quite a bit, which would make them all think twice about continuing the fight. It is another pretty short chapter, but we can tell the fight is reaching its conclusion, which I am so excited to see. It's now coming to the end of the video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy you stopped by. My channel is steadily growing and I'm amazed at the support I'm getting. And I also have a Patreon now, so feel free to support me however you like. The link will be in the description and I will shout out names at the end of each video. Thank you again, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.